Hey guys, today I'll be comparing the World of EA Over Heaven and Dio's The World Over Heaven. So these are two super duper rare stands. So these are two super duper rare stands in this game, and I'll be comparing and showing guys which one is the better stand. So in this video, I'm gonna be showing guys the stand's attacks, the stats, the stand's skill tree, and then the rarity of each one of the stands, and how to get each one of the stands, and also the design stands, the pose, and then some little cool features that you may see on one of the stands. Well, on some of the stands, on both stands, possibly. So, and then on the very end of the video, I'm gonna be giving guys my final verdict on which stand I think is the better stand overall. So, hopefully this video will help you out, and let's roll the intro and get straight into the comparison, starting off with the World OVA Over Heaven. Okay, so here is the World OVA Over Heaven. So here's the design of the stand for those who want to see the design of it. It has a pretty nice design in my opinion, one of my favorite stand designs in this game, though I do like the normal, the World OVA design a bit more than the stand, so you can see some neon accents to it, and then also a different color than a normal The World, a normal The World, and also Dio's The World. So. That's a nice little design of this one. So the main difference between this one and um, a normal The World OVA are the eyes. You can, well, not that's the main, not the main difference, but some differences are the eyes, and then also you'll see some neon colors. And then the main difference to me is the inverted colors. So and just the colors are inverted. The parts are the dark green are normally the whitest, grayest color, and then the parts that are the whitest, grayest color, they're normally the green on a normal The World OVA. So that's a little difference. And also, a cool thing about this stand right here, um, it's, I really, really like this. You do not get this on The World, on a Dio's The World, which I'm kind of surprised about, but you do get it on this stand. You actually play Dio's theme song from part three, which I do really, really like. So you can just be walking around, playing Dio's theme song. So that is a little cool feature about the stand. So here's a stand's pose for those who want to see that. And this is what it looks like while you're walking. Okay, so now let's go ahead and compare them. Um, well, not compare. I'm going to show you guys the stand stats now. So let's go into the stand stats. So I do want to say I do apologize for not having a nun for this video, but the attribute for this stand is tough. And what tough does, it decreases your attack damage by 10%, but increases your health by 50%. So you can do the math on your, but for that to get the, what the base damage is for the nun attribute. And also I just want to tell you guys, for these stands, I did not upgrade at all. So the stand attack damage is 31. The stand's health is 675. The boards length in seconds is 4.5. And the stand's tier is SS. And SS is the second highest stand tier in the game, only being beaten by, I think, Infinite. Okay, so those are the stand stats. Now let me show you guys the stand skill tree. So we have Destruction 3. Increases all base destructive forces by 24%. Uh, minor haste knife throw 2. Slightly decreases the cooldown of knife throw. Hasty Time Stop 3, decrease the cooldown of Time Stop, and then Lethal Time Skip 2, massively increase the power of Time Skip, and then Sort Oil Tank 3, lower cooldown for Oil Tank, and then this one, Damaging Knife Jabs 3, increase the power of Knife Jabs. Okay, so that's the Stand Skill Tree. Okay, let's go ahead and go back. And now I'll show you guys the attacks for the stand. So let's go ahead and walk right over to the godly dummy so I can show you guys what it's like. So you can do kicks for the broads, that is E, and the kicks will last for 5 seconds and they do around 14, 15 damage. I do do the, I do have the 10% damage reduction though, so keep that in mind. So that's the broads. Here's the heavy punch, you do a punch doing a nice amount of damage, so that's that. You have block. 
This is what it looks like when it's doing block, and that'll block damage from a little bit for a little bit, and then here's punch. So you just do punches. Okay, there you go. Okay, then now let's go straight into the moves custom for the stand. Okay, so we have Y, which is um reality overweight, so you can see that's kind of like a really it's like a strong punch or heavy punch, um, but with like some special effects to it. So that's reality overweight. Pretty nice. Here is um, F. This is time skip, so that's going to be a little mobility ability for the stand. Here is Z, which is time stop, so you can lower the cooldown for this time stop by a nice amount. But um, if you don't upgrade the cooldown, I don't know what the base cooldown is, but the time stop does last for about 6 seconds for my testing, so that is pretty nice. So that is a time stop right there, and there's no custom poses for the stand, it's all random. Here is T. This is knife throw. You can spam knife throw, especially in time stop. Here is eight um, oil tank. So this one does a ton of damage. And it also has a pretty nice range of attacks. So this is just one attack, and it usually happens most players' health, if not insta killing them. So that's a very strong attack right there. And it, but it does have a bit of a cooldown. So that is oil tank. But the thing is, you let out like a loud yell saying an oil tanker for you. And then when you, the enemy blocks, it since it's only one explosion, um, if the if your enemy blocks. Um, it will break the block, but you they you will do no damage to them at all. I do apologize for me tripping up awards, but you will not do any damage at all to them, which is kind of a big issue with this stand. But if you can't hit them, it's pretty devastating. So that is oil tank. Let me show you guys a time stop knife throw. I did not upgrade knife throw, but you can see that's a very quick knife throw cooldown like that. You can see that right there. And then when time resumes, you can see the knives going through them. So that is knife throw. So that's T. And now here is X. You teleport to the nearest enemy, doing knife jabs, doing a nice amount of damage. And here's J. Uh, for, like, Donut, it always seems to not work well for me. The aim sucks for this one, usually. At least during my experience. But it does do a nice amount of damage. So that is Donut. And now that is that for the moves for the stand. So... I'm going to be going ahead to get Dio's The World Over Heaven, and I'll show you guys what that stands like. And I also do apologize for the background noise. My dog is playing with a bone right now, right next to me. So I do apologize if there will be a, a little bit of background noise. So hopefully you guys don't mind. But see you guys soon once I get Dio's The World Over Okay, so here is Dio's The World Over Heaven. So... This is the design of the stand up for, so you guys can see the design of the stand. I like this stand design more than the World OVA. And some differences that you can tell between this stand and a normal The World Over Heaven. So you can notice that um, instead of having those brown, um, I don't know what it's called, like armbands, it is gray instead of brown. So that's a huge difference that you can notice nearly instantly. And another difference is the eyes. So if you look in the eyes, um, around the eyes on a Deals the World Over Heaven, you'll see black linings. But on a normal The World, you'll only see white, matching the skull, not the skull, the little helmet or the head. So the, those are the differences between this stand and The World Over Heaven, design-wise. Okay, so that's the design of the stand, as you guys can see right here. And here's the little pose that it does while you're idling. Here is what it looks like when you're walking. And now let me show you guys the stand stats. So, um, I do have the manic attribute for this one. So, once again, I do apologize for not having this one as none. But you guys can do the math. And for manic, it increases your damage by 10%, but lowers your health. Not lowers your health. It also increases your health by 30%. So, only good for this attribute. But still not too good of an attribute. Still kind of bad of an attribute. But hey, at least it's an attribute. So, the stand attack damage for me is 48. The stand's health is 780. The broad's length in seconds is 4. And the stand's tier is infinite. Well, I'm pretty sure it's called infinite. And it's the highest stand tier in the game. It's, there's only three stands in the game that I know of that have this tier, and that's this stand, 
Tusk Act 4, and Star Platinum OVA Over Heaven. But I think this one's the best out of the group. Okay, so now let me show you guys the Stan Stat Tree. So this one has, well not Stat Tree, a Stan Skill Tree. So this one has a very, very tiny Stan Skill Tree. So you have Destruction 4, increases all base destructive forces by 32%, so it has a better Destruction upgrade than the World OVA, and, well, the World OVA Over Heaven and most Stan. So that is very, very nice to have. So that is Destruction 4. You have Knife Throw 2. Knife Throw cooldown decreases by 70%. I don't know why, but it always seems to glitch. And that one doesn't work, but only goes to 35%. But it feels like it's 70%. I'm not sure. But it's a, it's a weird glitch for Knife Throw stands. At least for me, it's happening. And then Time Stop 1. It will, you can, well not time stop 1 I mean, time stop 3, it will increase the time stop length by 75%, and I highly recommend you do this one, because this upgrade makes the stand super OP on time stop. Okay, so there's no title for this one, no title for that, nothing, 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 so it's only those things, so, kind of a little, so it has a very tiny statue, which could be considered an issue, in my opinion, it's, a, it's kind of an issue, because some of the moves don't have any equity to them at all, which is kind of sad, but... The stand's still OP. So that is the stand skill tree. So that is that. And now let me show you guys the stand's moves. So we have the little boards right over here. Let me show you guys that. So you can see that right here. I do 22 damage a hit. Doing That's a nice amount of damage in my opinion. So that's boards. You do kicks for that one. Here's a heavy punch doing a ton of damage. You have a block. This is what the stand looks like when you're blocking. And then here is the punch. And that does a nice amount of damage as well, as you can see right over there. Okay, so that's punch. And now let me show you guys the moves made for this stand. So here is Y. This one is Reality Override. Same as the World OVA Over Heaven. So that is that attack. So that's Y. Here is F. This is time skip, so this is kind of like a teleportation attack. You cannot lower the cooldown on this, which is kind of sad, but it's still nice to have, so that's F. And here is time stop, so the time stop does last a nice amount of time. I forgot what the time without the cooldown is, but the time fully upgraded, I tested it out on my main account with the fully upgraded time stop, and that will last you 12 seconds. It did recently get a north for time stop previously lasting 15 seconds, 15 or 16 seconds, but now it has went down from that amount down to 12 seconds, which is still amazing. So that is the time stop. And it also has a near instant activation, which I really do like. And unlike um, the World OVA over heaven and some other stands, this does have time stop movement for two seconds, which is insanely useful. So that is time stop right there, which is Z. So two seconds of time stop movement. And that, that time stop movement it will be very careful when i saw a pretty cool move for the stand so that is z here is t knife throw this one has a way faster cooldown than the world ova over heaven so you can see that the stand has no custom poses at all it's all random here is j donut doing a nice amount of damage here is x knife jabs and finally the attack that you've all been waiting for Road Roller. So you drop out of the sky, killing a huge Road Roller, and then you drop down the floor, breaking any block, and then in a nice amount of radius around you, you will do a ton of damage, blocking your enemy, and then doing one last big smackdown, doing a ton of damage. So you can see that right there, Road Roller. Honestly, without you or an enemy using Time Stop, the Road Roller is pretty useless overall because they can just walk out of it. They're not stunned or anything. They can just like, oh, I got hit by a Road Roller. They survived the force attack and they can survive a little longer. They can just um, walk out of the way into the Road Roller and then you're completely vulnerable. They just can't get near you, but any long range attack can hurt you. So that's kind of a big issue for Road Roller. But the thing is, if you use Time Stop with Road Roller, it's insanely OP because if an enemy blocked and it's already past their um, block, well, their Time Stop movement limit, you can just drop the Road Roller on them to break their block and then just continue barraging them and then do the big explosion. And then you just do a crap load of damage with the Road Roller. And the other thing is this one is very very good it's one of the things that makes um deals the world in my opinion the very best stand in the game um you can world roller in the whole entirety 
of the enemy time stop. So the thing is, you have to use World Wolo in the two seconds of time stop movement that you do have. But if you use the World Wolo in the two seconds of time stop movement that you have, the World Wolo will last for the whole entirety of the enemy's time stop. And if the enemy's time stop isn't too long, or it doesn't last as long as the World Wolo lasts, the World Wolo will still keep on going. And then you'll attack everybody around you. So this can be a very good defense mechanism for the stand. And also, if you're trying to team up with somebody, go ahead and kill somebody. This is also very, very useful. So that is World Roller. And those are all the attacks for this stand. So I'm going to be giving you guys my final verdict on which stand I think is better of the two. Honestly, it's pretty clear that the deals the world over heaven is a, the way better stand out of the bunch. But still, the world OVA over heaven isn't a bad stand at all. And in fact, I consider it to be like the fifth best stand in the game. Well, not the fifth best stand, but one of the top ten best stands. It's insanely good. It may actually be the fifth best stand, in my opinion. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Actually, I do want to give you guys the reasoning to why I think Deals the World is the better stand. Okay, so now I'll show you guys why the stand, why I think the stand is better. The health is way higher, and then also the stand attack damage is much, much higher. The blast length does not last as long, but you can punch way, well not punch, you can wick, kick way faster at a much faster speed, kind of making up for that loss in 0.5 seconds. And then also, the stat tree, you can increase your damage by a ton. Well, not by a ton, but a nice amount more than other stands. So, that is that for the stat tree stuff. And then I like the moves on the stand a nice amount more than other one. Well, it does depend. The time stop is way better for the stand, and overall, I think the stand is more well balanced than the world OVA, and I just overall think it's a much better stand. So, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure you guys subscribe to Two Kids in a Pod if you want some more videos like this one. Hopefully, this um helps your decision to try and get stand arrows from the stand dungeon, or maybe the unusual arrows from the level 80 dungeon. So, hopefully, this helps you out a bit on trading also, and then maybe you just want to see for fun which stand is better. So, hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye, guys!